can't wear that to school. But you want to have lots of friends, don't you? And friends like it when you dress the same as them. Please, sweetheart, you, you look so handsome in your uniform. And how do I look? Do I look handsome? This is your fault. Oh, shut up. He loves it, didn't you? Hey? My little superhero, didn't you? Now, I'm not saying you don't look beautiful, as you are, but you do remember why we bought Ollie's own clock. Because he kept changing the time on our watches. Yeah. Because he kept changing the time on our watches. Right, so it's 20 to 9. No, I can't. I can't take him to school in my pyjamas, and it's especially it's after... It's OK. It's OK. I'll take him. If that Shelley's got something to say, she can say it to me. Yeah, but I always take him. You won't like it. Well, shall we see? Uh, is it OK if Daddy takes you to school today, please, sweetheart? You know, it's a special treat. You can keep your outfit on. Hey? Yeah, come on, you. Oh, let's go. Good boy. Let me take this. I guess that here. Well, I'll take him, and then, uh, I'll pick you up after. For the launch. For the best pub competition. We win a cushy little plaque, a nice little feature in a magazine. Not this again, we never win. Oh, boozers are closing round here like clams, so the takings ain't been brilliant. Oh, I've that's got... great. Money problems on top of everything else. Don't worry, Elle. Oh, I'm gonna sort it out. Mm. Good night. Mm. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. I think it's. Right, where's the biscuits? This calls for a celebration. About what? What do you mean? The cut of double act, the duo, the competition. Oh, I still think it's a waste of time. What are you talking about? It's three categories, right? First one, best event. We'll smash that to pieces, you know. We know how to throw a bustle, me and you, didn't we? What's the next one? Best service. So what if I knock off now? Of course you can, baby. Shirley was in the right mood earlier. She almost hit one of the new punters for asking why the loose ain't unisex. Hmm. Don't make our odds for that one. Yeah, we can work on that one. Last one, right? <sighs> best landlord and landlady. We're made for this caper, babe. All we've got to do is apply by tomorrow. We ain't got any ideas yet. Well, there's plenty of time, don't worry. Fine. All right, if you think it will help business, now, can you check on Ollie? I'll head down. No, don't... It's, it's all right. Sweet, I'll do it. I'll do it. Come and take a break. Come. Yeah. Here we go, ladies. Hi, Ollie. Oh, can I be one of the ladies? We're running dry at home. You can be what you like, but you ain't getting wasted and causing trouble in my pub. Sharon must be in a bad way. She ain't returned any of my messages. Well, you can never scrub something like that from me now. Oh. I mean, at least it weren't Lisa who saw it happen. Yeah, her and Mel were well close, mm. weren't they? Well, she's in a right state. I saw her screaming down the market earlier. Did you? I mean, Mel was well tough, though, weren't mm. she? Considering that son of hers. A proper monster. Still, seeing your child suffer like that, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Oh, guns, knives and drugs. You know, it ain't half scary being a mum. Mm. <sighs> to Mel. Turn out. Turn out. Turn out. Ollie wants his red bag at Christmas. Well, you know what they are, Mother. I'm sorry. I appreciate you keeping an eye on him. Is he all right? Well, he is now. We found his clock. But it was the World War Three earlier. Mm. I haven't shown him one of your sharp programmes again, have you? No. He's too upset about this Learner of the Week award. Yeah, it's an incentive thing that they do for the kids. He's, he's never had one. And... I know what it is, Mick. He told me. Just don't tell Elle. She's taking everything too hard at the minute. Service in this place is terrible. Another bottle, please, Mick! She sounds like she's coping fine to me. 